This is Gayamandi, a township in South Africa. Oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Keep it, keep it all. This is Gayamandi. <laughs> People here lived under tough circumstances like poverty, unemployment, and drug use, even crime. Ah, and cut. <laughs> I had an encounter with a young man who came up to me and basically said, I'm a filmmaker, but I don't have the skills or the tools, but I know that I'm a filmmaker. And that moment really haunted me. What do people do if they have a calling on their life, but they can't reach it? I thought, what would happen if I just took a couple cameras and a couple of laptops to Kaimundi and taught some kids how to make short films? I think they've got some of the best stories to tell. Action! Home was just a thing like for people who grew up in the suburbs and stuff like that. Once the camera was rolling, all of a sudden they were given permission to speak. Let's go! Oh! Cut, 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 cut. In this community, you're not allowed to talk about yourself. I held everything inside me. So with film, I learned to talk about myself. For me, personally, it made me feel that I am worth more than what I think I am. What we are doing here at Film School Africa, we are breaking a lot of barriers. They are being exposed to different classes, different race groups and different cultures. I want to pursue my dream as a filmmaker. I want to be a filmmaker one day. Everyone is an artist in a way, so why not find inspiration from home? I think filmmaking is a really powerful tool. Not only for people to see their world, but also for them to be able to appreciate what is unique about themselves and their community. It's a very diverse country and we get the opportunity to bring that diversity together.